This is Young Trader, and this is Midday Trading. So I'm going to take a look here at crude oil and at natural gas. But first of all, we've got a couple of stock symbols here. First one's going to be PLTR, and the next one's going to be IONQ, which is uh, running up here pretty nicely. Okay, this video is for information purposes only, not a recognition to buy or sell any stock commodity ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have PLTR. Okay, now here's we have the daily chart and we have the old weekly chart. And I can see here the nice run up that we've had on this uh, very, very nicely. However, when you look at this, we are in way, way, you know, overbought here conditions kind of situation. The same way here on the weekly. So you got to be very, very careful with something like this. Your green is still over your red, but you're at that nosebleed section going on here. Okay, so what do we have to do is you want to look here at that price channel. So you're looking at uh, uh, 63.39. Now again, uh, you got so far we we went above that, but we're closing here right as of right now. We're going to be uh, right right below it. Okay, so if we can get above that, and close above that 63.39, then you can see get the 65.33. Now they're going to put this here in the old Nasdaq, so that's why this thing is running up here pretty nicely here. Now, on the downside here, what you want to watch is you want to watch, this, say, the sells off here, which everything goes up, everything comes right on down. Just look, all I got to do is look at any kind of stock here to look at the market. It's just getting hammer time today. Okay. So you really want to watch just a couple of uh, 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 support levels here. You want to watch this high, the 6208. That's going to be very, very key. And then, obviously, we want to watch this eight day here at 5918. Okay, that's going to be key. Now, again, there is this. You have your 21 day and you have your 50 day. That's obvious. But we want to watch the bottom of this candle here. This is that 4686. There's your gap. And then we want to watch the top of this at 4204. There's your fill. It's your gap and your fill here. Okay. But again, if you just watch this price channel here, if you can close above that 6339, then we can hit that 65 uh, uh, 33 level. Now, again, I'm not saying that it can't go a little bit higher here, but just if you if you own this or you trade this here, just be very, very careful here. Uh, a little bit of pullback, as long as we hold that eight day, you're good. So even if this pulls down, back down to that eight day, this would be a good buying opportunity here. But I say if it does sell off here, then all you have to do is just watch the top of these candles here, what we have here. Okay, you got 56.47. We looked at the bottom of that, 53.55. Uh, we looked at the top of that candle, 51.58. And then we come right down here to that 21 day at 49.65. But just watch that gap in that fill just in case she does. Okay, now, so again, we've had this really good run up here. It's going to go into the NASDAQ here. But just be a little bit careful with this. Now, we look at the weekly chart. You can see here, look at this here. Boom. Right on up here last week was just a really, really nice, good uh, week. This week here, we're doing a little bit run up here, but not as good as, as what we had that last week. So, again, just, just be very careful. Watch that 65.33. If you break above that, yeah, you could probably get that 70 mark there. No, no question about it. But just be a little bit careful when we get up to this area because we've got a nosebleed section. And this is a really good stock. But the key is what you want to do is buy it on any kind of a pullback and then run right on up here. Because when you look at all your RSIs here, it's just basically at nosebleed territory. Okay, let's look at the next one here. Okay, I O N Q. These are all these superconductors uh, here, computer conductors. So this is all ripping up here, nice. Now you can see here where we just had this, this just sideways action. And when you see this, what this does is it builds energy. Okay, so again, it can blast down to the bottom, but once she breaks out, it breaks out very, very nicely and very, very strongly, like we have going on here. Okay, so we got as high here as a 29.48 level. You always want to pin that 30 level. That's going to be a very key. But when you look at a, on a weekly chart here, okay, we have that uh, that high there of a uh, 29.48 there for the week here. So obviously, like you see, we can go here. This is your target, 35.90. Okay, so that's what you're going to be shooting for if it keeps right on going. Again, if it gets above that, well, then you can go higher. You know, I mean, you, you can go up to that that 40 level and then go toward the 50 level here. But you're getting that again at a nosebleed section here. You never want to see when something comes right up there like this. It's always going to come down just like we had here. Eventually, you'll see this topping tail and then you want to take it all the way on down. So when you look at the downside on this here. You just want to watch some of these candles. This is going to be key level here because this is where the breakout was. Okay, so you're looking at uh, 2568, and then we have this nice eight day here below that at uh, 2390. Uh, uh, now again, if this is, if holds that, as long as it holds that eight day, this is very very bullish here because you can go sideways action, which would be nice to have just a little bit of a pullback here. Okay, but if that eight day is lost here, then we can see we have some really nice good support levels right around here. You're looking around that uh, 25 uh, 21. Uh, 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 30 level going on here. And then what you always want to watch is you want to watch the top of this candle. That was the breakout candle. That's at 1820. And we also have this 
Uh, right above that is that 1870 level here. But you can see bottom left, upper right, very, very nice bullish very chart here. So again, if it keeps right on moving on out here, just watch that 3590. But the 30 level flat is always going to be something that you want to watch here, okay? Because you see 25, 29, 48. Uh, if, you're, if you're holding this, I would take some off the table here. And then, you know, if you want to keep on holding it, then just watch that target there at that 3590 uh, level. Okay, let's take a look here now at uh, uh, crude oil. Okay, here we have crude oil, your daily and your weekly chart. Now you can see here where we're we were uh, trying to get some uh, something going here today, but realistically, you're you're really fighting a losing battle here because what we got here now, see this eight day, how oh, that's rolling over, that's rolling over here. You cross the fifty day, you cross the twenty one day, that's going to be super. Uh, uh, big time resistance. Okay, so on the upside, just watch that 69.31 level, and then right above that, we had that 69.79 level, and then we watch that 50 day at 70.52. But you got to really close above that if you can. Your target's right there at 72.88. Downside, okay, it's very, very simple here. So far, today's low. Uh, what do we have here? You had uh, 67.12. This is the candle that you're looking for, 66.94. And then realistically, you're looking at this price channel, which is basically right there, which is what do we got there, 66.72 uh, uh, level, which is the bottom of that candle. If that's lost, you're going to come right here to the bottom of it here, and you're looking at 66.33. We're going to come here. You're looking at... Um, uh, 65, 63, and then your retest down there at 65, 27. Now, again, if this is lost, I showed you this here before, okay, that's that price channel. Then we're going to come looking at the bottom of this candle right here. You're looking at 64, 36, and then here's the big boy right here at that 63, 64. That's going to be your target if this 65, 27 is lost here. So all I got to do is just go to the left of the chart here, okay? And then what you can do is you can just start coming all the way down here. Okay, you got your 61, uh, uh, 74 level. And then we just start going all the way down, 61, 56, all the way down here until we hit that 60 level. But you can come all the way here to look at the top of this. You can come all the way down to that 54 level very, very easily here. The key is going to be holding this 65, 27. If that's lost, it's going to be like a domino effect coming all the way on down here, okay? But this, again, here, now, this is not political. Every administration has certain things, you know, that you want to go long and go short. So when this administration comes up here, what you don't want to do is he's going to take all the subsidies off of these EV cars. So you don't want to buy Ford. You don't want to buy GM. You still want to buy Tesla, though, because they're going to be the winners of the bunch because everything else is going to be pretty much gone. Rivian and all these guys, you know, and, and Lucid, that's all going to that's all just going to disappear. Uh, OK, so once you take those subsidies off of seventy five hundred dollars, that's gone. OK, they're really going to be attacking these drug companies here. I mean, don't waste your time with that. Wind solar, that's going to be that's going to be another uh, a tough situation. And anything that's going to be associated with this government here. Uh, OK, that's going to be lost there, too. So just always remember, whenever administration comes in, you just trade whatever they believe in, okay? And that's how you make the money in the pocket. So realistically here, just watch this key level right here. This is going to be key. This is going to be that 66.72. That's lost 65.27. And if that's lost, here's your big target. It's going to be 63.64. Once that's lost here, then we can figure out exactly where we go. But just remember, you got a $40 area all the way down here too, okay? So just remember that. Okay, let's take a look here now at natural gas. Okay, here we have natural gas, your daily chart. Now we can see here what we did, okay? So what we had is we had this big red candle with a nice sideways action. And then now today we hit a low here. What did we hit down there? 2.68, okay? So all you have to do is as long as we're holding this 2.65 level, we're doing okay, okay? Because we hit it four days in a row off of this bull flag scenario, okay? And then right below that, we have that 21 day. You're sitting right there at 2. Point, well, that's 2.652, okay? And then we have this... Uh, a 50 day at 2.59. But if you notice that this 21 day is you're still on the upside uh, upswing and same way with your 50 day, you're up on the upswing. Okay, so now your big target here, this is why you trade the charts, look where it went. It came all the way on down here. Okay, held that 265 uh, level here. Okay, and what it is, it, what it is and on the upside, went right into this eight SME. Now you got to get through this to go higher. So we're looking at here on the upside, looking at that 2.81. If we can get above that, We'll come to the bottom here, 2.83. We'll come to the bottom of this candle, 2.85. And then we'll work yourself right on up here. You got 2.91. We got 2.95 here level. Uh, what do we have on yesterday's high? You have uh, 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 2.98. And then 302, that's going to be your big retest there, okay? Any kind of a break, I'll say this rallies right on up here. This is going to be your target. Look to the left of the chart, okay? 
3.159. Very, very simple, okay? But realistically, it's not going to hit there unless you close above this eight simple moving average, okay? That is going to be the key, okay? So I did scalp a little bit of a UNG there today, and that was a pretty good uh, trade. I got 20 cents out of it. Uh, so I was happy with that there. And I'm going to see here, I'm just kind of holding, keeping the powder dry here. If we can close above this 2.81, then I would take jump back into the long and take it up to 3.02. But if we can, then we have a sideways to down action. So right now, what you're doing is you're trading here, the 21 day, the 50 day on the bottom, and we're trading that eight day there on the top, okay? So we're trading this range here. If you break up out of that, well, we know where it's going to go. If you go on blow it, we hit that 21 day, we hit that 50 day, and then we can hit all the way down here to this retest here of this uh, uh, 2.51 uh, uh, level, okay? So right now here, you're sitting at 54. I could go either way. Your green is still above your red here, so this is not looking too bad here. So we had a nice good bottoming tail uh, situation, but you got to get above that 8-day for it to move higher. Okay, that's what I got for you. I'll be back here uh, after the old pit close. Take a look at crude oil, natural gas. And then we'll see what else we can uh, put in the old mix. Now, actually, Tesla is doing pretty good here. He's got a uh, thing out there on the uh, offering, I should say, out on the old SpaceX. So that's ripping and rolling. He's going to be a big beneficiary of all this thing. So never get too buried. In time, Tesla pulls back. That's a buying opportunity. For me, I own it long. I'm a long uh, owner of it, and I also trade it. So it came right on down. It got as low here as 309.22. I got in at 310. It got as high as 324. I dumped it at 3 uh, uh, 320. I could have got a little bit more of it, but I took my 10 points and boom, I'm gone. So I I own it and I do trade it. It's a very good stock because it moves, okay? And I think it's going to do nothing but just move fair going forward. Now the banks, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, are doing pretty good there today. Uh, this Kaba, that's actually doing pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm saying that that thing's ripping up. So. Anything like that, that Kava comes on down here, that's a Mediterranean. It's like Chipotle's. Very, very good trade here. Tech is just getting hammered, uh, everything today. But again, let's just see how it all shakes out. But remember, tax selling is end of November to beginning of December. That's your buying opportunity, okay, to take it long going into the end of the year. Okay, thanks for watching.